All right, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Malik Arjun here. Uh, quickly, I'm going to demonstrate on this particular session on a uh, DB name, DB nickname, service name, global name, and instance name. There's a various naming nomenclature on my primary and standby database. Many people will often get confused with these varieties of names. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. I have my primary database ORCL on my Oracle DB server, and I have my ORCL standby on my Oracle standby server. So how these namings are derived, I have this server one, that is my prod server. And then I have my DR server here. All right, I have this prod server and I have this DR server. So this prod server where my ORCL database is running, and this DR server where my ORCL standby is running, any transaction happening on primary side, all will be shipping into my standby and my standby will be in sync with my prod database always. So the naming convention looks like this. My production side, I have a DB name, DB unique name, instance name, service name, and global name. So your DB name is ORCL and DB unique name is also ORCL and your instance name is also ORCL and your service name is also ORCL and your global name is also ORCL. That's a DB name followed by your domain name. So this is like a typically in production side around 99% all these names are same. So nobody is stopping you. You can set whatever you want. Like, you know, I can set it is Malik for my DB name and DB nickname. I can set it as a India and instant name. I can set it as a uh, Oracle. Service name, I can set it as a Bangalore. And global name, I can set it whatever I want it. So all these names are independent. There's no dependency at all. But as a best practice, what we do, we will try to set all these names as equal. Your DB name is ORCL, DB name is ORCL, instance name is ORCL, service name is ORCL, and global name is ORCL.malik.com. It's your domain name. So when it comes to standby side, your DB name is always carry forwarded from the primary side because your standby, you're going to build it from the backup of your primary database or you can build your standby database with the active database duplicate. So it's a copy of your primary database basically. So because of that, your DB name will be carried from your primary name. Your primary name is ORCL, your standby side also, your database name is going to be ORCL. And the second is your DB unique name. DB unique name is again unique to this database. It cannot be ORCL. So for that, we're going to go with some different name that is ORCL standby. And followed by your instance name, service name, global name, we're going to give whatever name we want it. So in order to make it unique across your standby side, whatever this DB unique name ORCL standby, we're going to carry the same thing. Instance name is ORCL standby, service name is a ORCL standby and global name as ORCLstandby.malik.com. So that's the naming convention, how it will be spread across your primary and standby. Right, let's get into my lab and quickly show that. I'll go to my primary site, dot .orinv. I'm going to set it to my ORCL primary database, SQL plus slash as DBA. Show parameter DB underscore name. So that is your ORCL show parameter db underscore unique underscore name. So your db unique name is ORCL. Your db name is also same. Your db unique name is also same on the primary side. If I run the same command on the standby side, su oracle dot for env ORCL standby. SQL plus slash sys DBA. So DB name is ORCL because it's a duplicate copy of our primary database. Your DB name remains same ORCL and ORCL. And whereas DB unique name, which will get changed on the standby side. So DB unique name is ORCL standby. Fair enough. So whatever we discussed here sounds good. DB name, DB unique name, and instance name. So as we already see on my primary side, instance name is ORCL. On my standby side, instance name is ORCL standby because whatever running at your OS level, that's your database instance. So still I can show that one, show parameter instance underscore name. So your instance name is ORCL on the primary side, 
if I run the same command on the standby side, same ORCL standby instance name is again carried, followed the same nomenclature of your DB unit name of standby. So next after that, we're gonna go with the service name. Again, you can set whatever you want. There's no hard and fast tool, you have to go with the same name. But best practice is we're gonna set all the names are same on the primary side, all the names are same on the standby side. Show parameter service underscore name. So service underscore name, it says ORCL. Service name is ORCL on the primary side. And if I do it on the same on the standby side, service underscore name is ORCL standby. Fair enough, service name is also fine. So global name. So if I do show parameter global on the primary side, or global underscore name. So global underscore name is set to false. So I'm not gonna set any global name. If I make it to true, the global name, I can set it as ORCL.DomainName.com, but right now it is set to false. I'm not using the global name here. If I do it on the standby side, it's same thing, global name is equal to false. All right, so that's a quick update on how you can differentiate between your DB name, DB nickname, service name, and your global name and followed by your instance name. So that's a differentiation between your primary and standby. All right, guys, we'll see you in our next demo. Thank you.